Welcome to an emergency episode of the Hearthstone Report. We have the announcement for the next expansion, and uh, we predicted it. Not to toot our own horns, but uh, it's gonna be about what's it called? Ud Uldum, Uld Uldum. Saviors of Uldum. Uldum. That's the Egyptian-looking as place in Warcraft, which we predicted because of pyramids and stuff. So, after calling Dalaria, we now call. The Egyptian looking place, and we're gonna be getting the League of Explorers back. Um, we got Reno, we got Mergleton, Elise, and Brian Bronzebeard in the building. They just released the trailer. We have the link, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Some of the explanation, uh, you can go look at that. And uh, JJ, hit me with the news, man. Well, there has been a new patch to Hearthstone mm -hmm. that has released, well, as of recording, like, a few hours ago, yeah. as of released, like, a day ago. Yeah. Um, and the Hall of Fame announcements from last week yeah. are now in effect. Yeah. Which means that Classic Packs got all kinds of new cards, most of which people don't actually want to pull. Correct. That's terrible. And when you can get some extra dust out of your additional Vanish. copies of Mind Blast and Vanish. Um, if you have, hadn't had Wild unlocked yet, you actually got it automatically. Really? That's interesting. They dust the card, yeah. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we're getting all of those new cards. Nothing to talk about now, because we've already done so before. Correct. And there's been another... Kind of... On the one hand, very unimportant. On the other hand, kind of big thing. This one's very suspicious, and I, I am not in favor. So, they changed a bunch of card arts. Like, a bunch of them, as in eight. So, uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of cards did they change, JJ? Well, um, the most drastic ones are, I guess, the two Warlock cards. And that is the Fellstalker, which, if you've never heard of it, that is not your fault. It used to be called the Succubus. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, they replaced with a Fell... Hound stalker, yeah. The creatures are called. I don't hounds. know why it was necessary to change to even change the name. I mean, I like, I mean, the fell stalker is obviously cooler than the succubus and all, but kind of sort of like the concept. If the of reason succubi, for the but, yeah. change was that oh, it's cooler, I'd be behind this, but it's not. The reason is China, right? Um, well, we're not sure about that because a lot of cards already have okay. different art in China, so there's no reason right. to change it internationally because of that. What is the reason then? Um, well, probably to appeal to younger audiences or more accurately to their parents. <laughs> so, like, younger audience as in, like, eight year olds and younger? I don't know, man. I I'm, I'm not on the PR team, I don't know. I just know that a lot of the classic cards look very different from some of the newer cards, so it kind of makes sense to bring them in a... I really appreciate style. how they believe that a uh, literal fucking hellhound demon fellstalker uh, is more appealing to younger audience than a uh, basically very humanoid creature. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I guess. Suspicious. So yeah, um, Succubus is now the fellstalker, Mistress of Pain, which by the way is a GVG card. Yeah. So, that, is, that no one has ever seen in their life, by the way. I haven't. You have not. It was the original Lifesteal card. It had Lifesteal before Lifesteal was a keyword. Okay. Um, no one knows that card. It's now called Queen of Pain and the R chain. Yeah. Great. And then Winfury Harpy, which used to have really horrible art, has newer, slightly nicer art. Secret Keeper has slightly worse and new art. Eviscerate doesn't have blood anymore. Bite has different... Maybe worse art. Deadly also, shot. blood, I believe. Deadly shot. I, I has, still haven't figured out why. Has new cool art, and head crack has new questionable art. Yeah. So that happened. That uh, this stuff. Like we're not going to spend much time on this, but why was that even necessary? It looks so stupid. Seems seems so unnecessary. But uh, we also let's, got let's discuss in the comments a card consistency update. Yeah. They do those every now and again because they're really bad at being consistent with their cards. Correct. So they got to update it. So, Pilfer has, as we've previously discussed, like, by now probably a few months ago, uh -huh. uh, has now actually been changed to read any random class to your hand from a different class, right? rather than from your opponent's class. Right. Um, as well as a few multi-target cards have been updated so that they are playable if there is only one eligible target, like Dark Bargain, Cleave, Multi-Shot, and Four Blacking. As a matter of fact, exactly those four. Yeah. Uh, also... Slightly good, I think. Tavern Brawls are now open basically all, all week, week long. That's a good change that they made, I think. 
I like, I like it. this. Yeah. I never, I never understood why it wasn't. Yeah. And I, I would consider this a good thing. Yeah, they've added a new card pack. They've changed a bunch of bugs and minor things. We're um, not gonna read them out. You can do that by yourself. Yeah. We put the link to the article in the description of this video. If you're interested in the very specific things, which are barely important. One thing I do want to note about this is that Rafam Scheme and Dreamer Guardians can now not be played anymore once the board is full. Correct. That is similar to the other consistency changes because some other cards that summoned couldn't, now those could. Just like you can't cast Brawl when the board is empty, for example. Yes. So that has been changed. Suspicious. Um, but I think that's not why people are watching this nope. video. Nope! New expansion! Def yeah, what was this? Defender, Savior, Savior? Saviors of Ulden. Saviors of the Egyptian place. We get a couple of new, like a bunch of new cards already. Eight have been Eight. shown Including so a new keyword. Let's start with that one. Keyword is Reborn. People yeah. thought it was going to be, uh, what, Scry, but it's Reborn. And uh, what Reborn does is, it's essentially Redemption, the Paladin secret. Yes. Uh, the minion is revived with one health remaining, or when it dies for the first time. Exactly. Uh, the one example of this that we have seen is the 4-mana 3-2 Rush Reborn minion Restless Mummy for Warrior, yep. which is a better multi-shot. I wonder if this goes into Control Warrior right off the top. How does this, how does this stack up with Militia Commander? Because it's the same mana slot, it, it, it rushes twice. Well, better. Because Militia Commander, if memory serves, deals 5. Yeah. And this deals 6. Correct. It dies more likely. Yeah. But against smaller stuff, it only dies 1, so you still got a 3 1 remaining rather than a 2 something. Exactly. And against bigger stuff, it just it just dies. I like But it deals one more damage. Looks pretty interesting. I think I think this replaces Militia Commander always. We'll see. We'll unless see unless there's like an edge case. Yeah. Looks interesting. A new type of spell has been introduced plagues which are the plagues um all of the five villain classes from rise of shadows are getting one plague so they keeping their promise and all the the uh the expansions are connected both thematically and with some uh, continuity in terms of card be cards being released yeah and also of course the story that is mostly played out through the single player content is continuing from the dollar and heist we've seen the League of Evil show up in Uldum with the city of Dalaran. With the full city? Yes. Just in their bag. Yeah, it was it was shown in the trailer. Yeah, they stole the entire city. It's I mean, great. yeah, they, they put rocket engines on it and then they just pushed yeah, it away. Yeah, man, right, I right. mean, it's a floating city. If you got Dr. Boom in your building, I mean, you can do a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, uh, look, looks pretty good. So, yeah, uh, plagues are cards or spells, I should say, that affect all minions on the board, yours and your opponent's. The one that we have revealed is the Plague of Death for the Priest. Uh, it's an IMA spell that silences and destroys all minions. Uh, it's basically like Twisting the other, except maybe slightly better. Um, yes, usually it's slightly better. But it's uh, also slightly more expensive. So. The only situation which is, which is worse is if you're playing a Death Rattle deck. Yeah. Which, guess what, is something that Priests historically do do. They do 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 that, yes. But, but they've never been the best strong, It's a strong control tool, for sure. You know what's also returning? Quests are returning, man. Yeah, and... If you've been around since the Agora days, you know that quests used to be a thing. And uh, now they're bringing them back, which is a very cool throwback that I like, because I did very much like the Agora days. Yeah, and right now we got quests for both Druid and Warlock revealed. We basically know that Priest is getting one, and we assume that every class is getting one. We don't know yet what they are, though. And all of the quests give a new hero power, which is equipped instantly after the quest is resolved. And of course, with as with every hero power changing thing, it also refreshes the hero power. Correct. So the druid one we have um, requires you to end four turns without uh, any unspent mana. So basically, just with any unspent mana. With any unspent mana. So um, that should be doable. Yeah. That seems very very doable. That is. Pretty much easily doable by turn five. Yeah. By turn four is tough because you can only really do that with a coin, and that seems very wasteful. Yeah, that's but not necessary. But uh, it gives you a passive hero power, and uh, your choose one cards have both effects combined. That is very good. Yeah, I mean, Fendral. That uh, is Fendral Staghelm for the rest Fendral of the game. Fendral Staghelm was a very good card. 
He was insane. And this is better. Yes. Because it can't be killed. Exactly. Well, I mean, you could be killed, but then you lose the game and then it's oh. over anyways. So, Wild Jade Druid? Oh boy. Big time. Yes. And uh, we also have uh, the quest for... Uh, for Warlock, the Supreme Archaeology... It's from farm. The Supreme Archaeologist. Right. Uh, the quest is to draw 20 cards, which with cards like um, plot, twist. plot Twist should be very easy. I mean, Plot Twist Warlock has already been a deck, but Not never good. Not really. Well, it, it, it was a deck, it just yeah, wasn't yeah, good. Yeah, Basic Mage is also a deck. And uh, now... This makes it better. Maybe not good, but better. Yeah. Uh, the reward is Tome of Regeneration, which is an active hero power, actually, which just is a two mana, draw a card, it costs zero. That's also pretty strong. That is... Well, I mean, the, the, the hero power is really good. It just takes a while to get there. And you gotta make extra cards happen, because if you just draw the 20 cards out, you barely have anything left. Yeah. So, this is, of course, better than the Warlock hero power, because you don't damage yourself. And you always reduce the cost of the card. Yeah. I mean, Farsight is a good card. Yep. And it does way less than this. Yes, it does. Four more mana. But and it's a card. Quest takes a while. We got four other cards that aren't really categorizable uh, otherwise. There's some quest synergy. There's the 2-3 um, the two, two by 2-3 two, River Croc with a stat. Uh, with the Battle Cry, if you control a quest. Draw a card, which is just a slight upside. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good battle cry for quest decks. And this is specifically good for the Warlock quest. It draws your card. Because it's synergized with the quest itself as well. It looks pretty uh, pretty well. We got the 10 mana mage spell, Puzzle Box of Yogg Saron. This seems pretty. I mean, I, I don't want to say stupid, it seems fun, but. It seems crazy, but also not playable. <laughs> Doesn't seem playable. But hey, you get it off of random discovery quests every now and yeah. again and use it to get a Hail Mary. I don't, I don't see a play where um, this where Calicos is ever not better than this. Well, yeah, but you play Calicos and, and then play the you're about box. to lose and Puzzle Box is one of the three discovery options exactly. and you play it and all of a sudden you're back in the game. Right. You know. Exactly. And it can't stop itself by fireballing itself in the first uh, first. It's actually better than post nerf Yogg. Crazy. This is the evil totem. Hagif has uh, constructed a totem, which at the end of your turn adds a lackey to your hand, which seems pretty darn good. It's a 2 mana 0 2, which is fine. Um, the thing is, I believe it was stated when Rise of Shadows was released that new lackeys will be added with each, with each expansion. Yeah, so that might be. It. Meaning that the lackey pool might get better, might get worse, but for the most part it's getting less reliable. Yeah. Not that 5 was that reliable, but you know. But it seems pretty good. So that's one of the cards that we have seen, or we'll see at it. Problem is, with end of turn cards, you always have to assume they proc once. Yeah. And so you gotta read it as a battle cry. Yeah, and soaking up 2 points of damage, and getting a lackey for 2 mana... Slightly worse than Cable right now, on the stream. I was about to say that it's probably not going to be worth it a lot of times. And finally, we got a neutral minion. A 1 mana 1 1. The Jar Dealer. Your go to for all kinds of jars, new jars, yeah, used yeah, jars. They yeah, they, they, come they, on, they said that in the video. They, they make up your own. With the Death Rattle, add a random 1 cost minion to your hand. Could be another Jar Dealer. Yes. Um. I think this card probably, if at all, will be used by Death Rattle decks. Yeah, if this, if, if this is a Death Rattle quest thing, or a one cost death uh, quest thing. There is already a one cost. Yeah. There's actually both of those already. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so they might not rehash that. So. Yeah, no, but. This looks a bit of a. This pack fill of vanilla. See, I, I could see some people maybe try using this in Zoo, for example. Yeah. Shimmerfly is used in Beast Hunter. Yeah. So, you know, it's possible. Well, then, then you got Zoltian on the top as a, as a payoff, so... You know, I'm, I'm not saying it's great, I'm yeah. just saying it, it might find well, some uh, uses. We'll so, if you do have way too much money, and you play Hearthstone a lot, you can purchase uh, the pre-release bundles for the saviors of the Egyptian place. You can get an 80-pack bundle and a 50-pack bundle. 
Uh, the 80-pack bundle comes with a card back, the a new hero from the Druid class, which is Elise the Trailblazer, looking like a mage in the Druid hero portrait, and a random gold legend. And uh, the 50-pack bundle comes with the same things except for the Elise. Uh, yeah, so there is, I guess, two notable things here. First of all, I it's believe Rise of Shadows did not have a golden legendary 50 pack, but rather a regular one. All right. So they went back up but to we what it snip, used to be. Then we got that. And the other thing is that we're still only getting night elves for druid heroes for some reason. Elise is what? A night elf. A night elf. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is there a reason that they do that? Uh, I don't know. Um, seems. Weird, Torn are also notorious for being druids, so... Worgen used to be druids. Wait, so, so, wait, so Lunara is like... Well, okay. Basically a minotaur. She's like a fucking... Uh, well, she's kind of a centaur, but she still has the fucking upper body of a night elf. Okay, then. But and the not, lower body of, like, a deer. Yeah, but it's not a full night elf, though, then. No, but I still. don't know, man. We got, we got too many heroes anyway. So, Arena. Uh, well, first of all, there is going to be single player content. Guess what? Yes, yeah, so su surprise, surprise. Uh, arena. <laughs> we have a new arena rotation. This one looks like the coolest one yet. Classic set, obviously. League of Explorers, Angoro, Cobalt's Academy, Rastakaz Rumble, and the new uh, expansion, the Saviors. So, this looks pretty cool. We noticed when we discussed this, JJ and myself. You could potentially draft three different Elises in this. In yes, the because it is fair to assume that all of the League of Thrones heroes that are representing the yeah. class are going to get a minion card. Likely. Very and all three expansions that featured an Elise are, in fact, in this oh, yeah. rotation. So that's pretty cool. And we get Kobolds and Catacombs, which is one of the strongest expansions of all time. And, and I mean, uh, we got... Angoro, which is arguably one of the coolest. Angoro was super cool, yeah. And we got League of Explorers, which is also one of my favorites at the very least. And Carnivorous Cubes. And here's the thing. You actually can draft two different quests per class. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's a thing. If quests are a thing in Arena. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Uh, some, some cards are banned from Arena. That is true. Like the um, I wonder if they're gonna ban Reno. Like the old Reno Jackson? Yeah, potentially. Uh, because for example, I'm pretty sure that they did uh, not include Baku and Gen. They did not. Uh, they also did not include the uh, Death Knight heroes during the Frozen Throne days. Okay, they did, however. Oh yeah, because they were too strong. Yeah. They did, however, include the uh, the Blood Princess. Yeah, they did. Which were also pretty unnecessary for the most part. Yeah, because they were bad unless you <laughs> drafted them first. Yeah. And even then happens so uh that's that's the new that's the arena news i think that's actually all the news except i don't think we mentioned the date yet which is august 6th is when the expansion drops august 6th and that is in about a month and knowing blizzard it's gonna take a few weeks until the single player con that comes out after that correct but we're expecting more cards on the weekly now so this it's that it's that time of the year again well yeah. one of the three times of year that it, that it is that time of the year and you know what? What? I must say really quickly, the Rise of Shadows set, like, the time period that it was yeah. the newest set, I think it might have been the best we've ever had. It was pretty cool, Because yeah. they always released some content updates yeah. to keep the game interesting. All the time, yeah. I mean, that's did, why... It did not... Did, there wasn't that slump. You know how with every expansion there was that slump after, like, month two? Yeah, that's because they did the whole uh, Rise of the Mech thing in between. Yeah. Didn't happen. And they did like, some major nerfs. It's like, wow, wow, this is, we're still fresh in the game. This is a new there is new expansion time already? That's great. Uh, I like this whole connectivity thing a lot, the whole continuity uh, with these expansions. And I'm looking very much forward to reviewing all the cards that are going to be um, revealed. We're going to make individual videos for this. We're not going to start reviewing all those cards with star ratings that we have released. It's going to be individual video. As more of them are getting, getting released and revealed. Uh, but we're going to be all on top of that. And uh, you can discuss your opinions on all the changes that were made. The ridiculous card art stuff. And the new expansion, obviously, with us in the comment section. And in our Discord server, too. The link to that is in the description. The Trashcan TV Discord, which you can go join for free to talk to us. And our fantastic community. 
uh, to get better at Hearthstone and never miss all the news that we are bringing. So thank you for watching this. Leave a like if it ha if it happened to help you out. Subscribe to Trash Game TV for more news and gameplays. And uh, JJ, that's it. That's it.